to welcome you aboard. Got home to a very cute setup from my boyfriend. Happy New Year! Since my boyfriend had the day off from work, we basically just chilled, watched movies, played games, ate some snacks, and rung in the New Year relaxing. Good morning. I just woke up, so I'm going to wash my face and go downstairs. Before I like put makeup on and actually get ready, I always come down and prepare some food for my boyfriend to take to work. This is the new lunchbox that I got him for Christmas. It's really cute. It has Mickey's on it. It's just like slightly bigger. While I'm waiting for my pans to heat up, I am gonna make some coffee. So it's a very important choice. You have to choose your mug. I think I'm gonna go with Wally -E today. So cute. I'm gonna have this K cup. That's gonna be so delicious. I just love that it literally smells like syrup. That literally smells so good. And I just poured my eggs in. Got the bacon cooking. Obviously, I have to write a cute little note, so I decided to put it on a napkin today. Now I'm gonna do my makeup. Since I finished getting breakfast all ready and everything, I have some bacon here that I'm snacking on. It's turkey bacon, which I'm actually super obsessed with right now. I have my coffee, so we're all set to go. And I'm just gonna do my makeup. Okay, now that I have my foundation on, I feel a little bit more almost put together. Now, I feel like I can kind of go through um, like what I did yesterday, which was not much. Honestly, we just kind of chilled. My boyfriend had the day off, so we took it slow and we chilled in bed pretty much all day and just watched movies and played video games and ate snacks. So it was like the perfect start to a new year. Just got changed and now I'm gonna make the bed before I head out to go to Panera. Just got in my car and I'm gonna head over to Panera so I can grab some coffee and a bagel. Got my Panera and I'm so excited because I've literally been craving this bagel for the past week. Since I haven't been home, I haven't had it and I usually get it like every day. It's an Asiago cheese bagel. Mm so good i am obsessed like literally i could eat this for the rest of my day for the rest of my days mm, so good so so good after that amazing bagel i went home and spent most of the day editing content before hitting the gym I just worked out and it was great Good morning. Now I'm officially up and I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready for the day. All ready to go. Now I just have to get changed and I can go to Panera and then tackle that mountain of laundry when I get back. Got the goods and I'm so excited even though I literally eat the same exact thing every day. It smells so good. I'm gonna have a bagel right now. I also brought my bacon that I made extra bacon whenever I make my boyfriend's lunch in the morning or his breakfast, I guess. Um, I always just make some extra bacon because I'm kind of obsessed with it. This is not turkey bacon though because yesterday I had turkey bacon and this is just like regular bacon bacon. So while I put some cream cheese on this, um, I just wanted to like real quick talk about the other day because I got to go to Disney World for the first time by myself. It was only for a couple hours and I've always wanted to do this, but I've just never really had like the opportunity to do it yet. I'm putting this on. I had a couple hours until my flight to Chicago and basically nowhere to go because my family was heading down to the Everglades, which is like, it's a drive and it's, it was like a four hour drive or something like that from Orlando. So they didn't want to be driving super late, which I'm glad because I don't want them to be doing that either, especially in the middle of nowhere with like all that wildlife and stuff. I had like two and a half hours to kill and we were already at the Springs. So I already did all Disney Springs and all that stuff. So I was like, 
hey, I have an annual pass. Would you mind just dropping me off at Hollywood Studios and I'll just like check it out by myself for a bit? Great idea, first of all. But second of all, I was like planning to be like, oh, I'm gonna get so much content done because I'm by myself. I don't have to bug people for pictures and whatever. I can just prop up my phone. Great idea, but it's so dark there. Hollywood Studios is so dark. So I like kind of forgot about that. Like I've been there at nighttime, but I've just never realized that there is not a lot of light spaces like to prop your phone up and take pictures. So it was a little bit difficult, but I went over to Galaxy's Edge. I checked out the Millennium Falcon. I just love to like sit and stare at it for a while because it is beautiful. And I just love that ride. I love Star Wars. I went and checked that out and I kind of just like did some laps around the park. Um, I only rode a couple of things because I didn't have a ton of time and the wait times were insane since it was New Year's Eve. I was thinking I'd be a little safer going to Hollywood since everyone mostly goes to Epcot or Magic Kingdom for the fireworks shows. Um, but no, everything was like at least an hour wait or longer. So it was fine, but it was really fun to just like walk around with my Starbucks, be super chill, listen to the music, just like people watch. That is so fun at Disney sometimes. And I actually saw this cute little Mickey's Shorts um, show thing that I have not seen before, which was really cute. And it's over kind of by um, the Backlot Express is like the entrance to the theater. It's this big like red and yellow and black like theater kind of. And it's not super big, but it's like pretty big. I had to wait like nine minutes to get into that because the previous show was just finishing up. So I was like right up in the front, got to choose whatever seat I wanted and it was really cute. And it, the whole thing was only like maybe 10 or 15 minutes long. So it was not like a, a long commitment. And then I just kind of kept walking around before I had to catch my Uber to the airport. And let me tell you, my Uber driver literally would not stop talking. As soon as I got in, hadn't even closed the door yet, he was just like, on a rant. I literally couldn't even get a word in to agree with this man. He was just going on and on about Disney and Universal and just movies and like his favorite top movies of the year and all that stuff, but I literally had to be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, because I couldn't even agree or get an opinion out or anything because dude was on a mission. I don't know. So it was fine, I guess. Like, he was super nice and friendly. We made it all the way to MCO and it wasn't, there was no traffic, so it was fine. But anyway, I'm gonna eat my bagel now. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> More Disney to come. Most of the middle of my day was pretty boring, so I didn't really film too much, but it was mainly answering emails, planning content, getting ready for dinner, and picking up around the house before heading to the gym, which is what you're seeing now. I really love how in the new stair stepper machine, they let you choose what monument you want to climb up. It makes it really fun, and they have a little image in the middle that shows your progress. I love it. Outside. Just got my Panera. I um, got something a slightly different today. I still got an Asiago bagel, but I got the egg white spinach sandwich on it. I'm obsessed with that sandwich as well, the egg white spinach, but I always switch out for either sourdough bread or an Asiago bagel. And since I'm obsessed with those, I thought it was a great idea. Look at how good that is, oh my god. The bread, I feel like that it originally comes on this sandwich. It's just like too flimsy. It's like sprouted grain um, bagel, I think, but it's too thin and too flimsy for like all that stuff. So that's why I like this modification. It's so much better. Plus the extra cheese, so good. Okay, I just finished my sandwich and I think that was record time. Like probably the fastest I've ever eaten anything. Went home to do laundry, get some lunch, then run to Target before hitting the gym. Spent most of the morning taking it slow, but we made some eggs for breakfast, and now it's time to hit the grocery store. Good morning, happy Friday. Today I decided to make coffee and a bagel at home because yesterday we went grocery shopping and 
at Walmart, I actually found a pack of Asiago bagels. Now I'm gonna get ready and finish editing the YouTube video so that I can get this thing uploaded for you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. And if you made it this far, you are absolutely amazing. Let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see more of from me in the future, but you can definitely expect lots of Disney and more vlogging videos. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more and stay tuned for next week's video, which is going to be showcasing my Mickey ear collection.